Today I'm going to do a product review on a couple of items that I picked up at the Gluten and Allergen Free Expo. This product is pretty unique and I've never seen anything like it. It is gluten free and it is called an herb spray. The company that makes it is called Simply Beyond. I picked up four of the products that they have at the expo. So the first one is a garlic spray. The second is the basil. The third is the rosemary. And the fourth is the lemongrass. I've also done a cooking tutorial so that you can see how you can experiment with these products. And I'll put a link in this video so that you can watch the cooking tutorial. I like these products. I was a little skeptical at first but I think that I'm going to actually restock them in my pantry after I'm done. There are a couple of pros to using them. As you all know, I do grow my own herbs at home. I do have an herb garden, but herbs, when they're freshly grown, they require a lot of sunlight. And during the winter months, it is very difficult to get sunlight. Also, the cold air when you have herbs in an indoor apartment and they're by the window, the cold air kind of kills them. So it's very hard to maintain an herb garden in the winter. You can put it on a counter or closer to a natural grow, grow light, but I for me that kind of defeats the purpose. I like the whole window box thing when you do the herbs. Second is when you buy packaged herbs from a grocery store, some of the grocery stores, they're more on top of the herbs than what they look like. Sometimes the herbs have a longer package life. Some aren't on top of their herbs, so they have a very short package life. But they also have a very short life expectancy when you keep them in the refrigerator. So you essentially have to use them very quickly. And if you use a lot of them, you're replenishing them every week. So those are the cons to actually growing your own herbs during the winter. What I found interesting about these sprays is that there are a lot of people who actually use the dried that come in the container. And there's nothing wrong with that because um, they have a long shelf life. You get a pretty good quantity for them and they're convenient. But sometimes the taste of the dry herb is not as strong as the taste of a fresh herb. So there's a pro and a con there. This product I found interesting and I spoke to the manufacturers at the expo for quite a while and they said a couple of interesting things about this. One, this product doesn't get sprayed onto the, into the pan. It gets sprayed onto your food. So that's a big difference. Two, it looks like an aerosol can, but it actually is not. There's a hydraulic pump inside the can. And they actually took the canister apart at the expo because they had a demo of it. And, I, and they showed you how it was built. You can't see it in here. But this slides out into the canister, so you're not getting an aerosol on your food. This product does smell like the herbs, and it does give you the taste of the herbs. My favorite is lemongrass. I never was a big fan of it, but I've used it on a couple of things. In my tutorial video, the lemongrass, I use it on fresh spinach. I actually was lazy and I sprayed it onto the spinach in some aluminum foil and put the spinach in the oven and it cooked really quickly. So that gives you an idea of how convenient these packaging containers are of herbs. If you're somebody who's quick and on a go and you don't have the time to chop and or you don't want to use um, the dried herbs, this is a great substitute. I also use this on garlic bread on a bread that I paired with another product that I um, received at the expo and I made garlic bread out of it. This product tastes really good. I actually enjoyed it. I was very surprised and it was the price, the price point when I purchased um, at the expo was reasonable. So it is on my recommendation list. It is something that I will incorporate into other videos. Um, I definitely give this a thumbs up and I say it's worth going out and finding and the product again is Simply Beyond. They do have other flavors as well. They have, um, I believe it's a cinnamon spice 
and they had a couple of other ones but I was just more interested in picking out the herbs that I use for cooking the most because I tend to make a lot of meals and sometimes I am a little bit lazier in the winter when things are really busy and I'm quickly on the go but I actually have to say that I was pleasantly surprised I do recommend this product and I hope that you'll try it look at my video on the cooking demonstration and post some comments below thank you